Hi, alright, so yeah, as you've seen, I'm kind of not even set up yet perfectly already, but I made it work that the uh, Xbox console is now finally transferring video to my PC desktop with the Blackmagic Intensity Pro 4K game capture, uh, capture card. And I've seen kind of a lot of people having trouble with that. So I'm gonna give you my tutorial how it's gonna work, or like at least how it worked for me. I'm using OBS Studio, the uh, latest version 18.0.1, um, and I hope I can make it work for you too. Um, so it is kind of tricky, it is really weird how I made it work. Um, so yeah, what do you want to start off is you go to the uh, blackmagicdesign.com so, um, website, you go to support, like where, I'm at, where I am already, you go to capture playback and you look to latest downloads here, you search for desktop video and just the latest version you want to get, possibly the latest version. You download that, you'll get some more tools like the Blackmagic desktop video setup. Once you have that, um, you make sure that your console is running, so you get a video input. On your console, I'm gonna show you that on my software right here. I'm just gonna turn on only my Xbox right now, since it's already working. Um, you go to your settings, you go to display and sound, you go to video output, you place your TV resolution to 1080p, or considering, of course, if Ultra HD is already possibly go there. Color depth doesn't matter, didn't matter for me. Color space didn't matter for me. You just do 1080p TV resolution. You kind of give it a couple shots until it works, depending on your TV, of course. Then you go to audio output, and this is very important, or you will get this really, really stupid um, uh, audio noise that's gonna crush your ears. You may not use Bitstream out for HDMI, and, or if you use that, well, rip your ears. Whatever here you're using really doesn't matter. Maybe with the new Xbox or whatever it's gonna work, um, but with the current one, which is like the first Xbox one, um, only 7.1 uncompressed does work. Now, anyways, once we got that set up, we're good to go. Um, you're gonna check here, you click the on the uh, Blackmagic Desk of VC, but you go here to the settings, which is like not even indicating the settings, but whatever. You go to this options file thing symbol, which looks like a save button, and you're gonna make sure that your output is to 1080p 59.94. That's gonna matter later on because we're gonna set everything to that. Audio doesn't really matter, just make sure it's embedded to like all the fucking HDMI stuff here, HDMI, and that, nothing else matters. So you're gonna quit that software, you no longer need it. And you're going to Media Express, and once you open up Media Express, you will start with the playback, and you won't have anything here. That doesn't matter. You go to Log and Capture, and you should see your. Oh, it's probably because I'm running it somewhere else, but you should usually see here your console already. Yeah, there you go. It still works for me. It's possibly because I'm using OBS Studio right now that I cannot see anything here, but you should see something here. And then you can check your preferences here. You can like adjust your color settings here, but you have to make sure that your project video format is 1080p.559.94. Uh, the uh, capture file format really doesn't matter much. It's just different color settings. I'm using this one here because it's, it fits to me. You're gonna click OK, and then you can keep the software running, doesn't matter. And then you cannot, you, well, you can try, like you can try to go to uh, to click add here on, this, on the OBS Studio. You click uh, video capture device. You're gonna you know, like f try to find it. You can't find it, but for some reason, if you click configure video, it doesn't work because it, as you can see, you can't see anything. And if you're gonna click configure video, for some reason, that window here is not gonna pop up. That's the usual mis like the usual problem we're getting. And there's no way you can do this in OBS Studio. I tried so many things, you cannot get this window working for some reason. And I have no idea why it doesn't work. So what I have done is, I went to install OBS Classic. So I was like, OBS Classic download. In Google, I was going here and I was like, oh fuck, there's only Studio, but actually Classic is just down here. So I installed Classic. I opened up Classic. 
what I did is I once again did and video device spam hit click magic so that window here is gonna pop up and then for some reason like here that that resolution window it's gonna call it resolution it's in German here it's gonna be called the resolution it's empty if you go to configure you have to make sure again once it's the same output 1000p 1080p 59.94 and a pixel format what works for me is 8-bit BGRA um, you can try 10-bit RGB I'm not sure if it's gonna work but 8-bit BGRA worked for me so you make sure you select this audio format doesn't matter and then you're gonna hit modify this like uh, custom custom resolution you're gonna click that and you're typing this number in here manually you're typing in 1920 x 1080 which is the resolution your console is actually transferring if I, I guess you already knew that you're gonna type that in manually and you're also gonna type in the fps you can't just type in x60 that's gonna work already once you do that and hit okay it's gonna work for some reason the uh, device is already gonna pop up here for some reason now it doesn't work for me anymore but it just really doesn't matter as long as I have my Ruby Studio stuff here so it's gonna pop up here and then for some reason you can suddenly also select it here I'm gonna remove that no longer gonna need that you can suddenly also select here your black magic device that you probably already Pre-configure, you can just suddenly go here for configure video and you can suddenly select override video mode here You can uh, just suddenly see this window and it suddenly pops up and it suddenly just works I have no idea what's the issue, but for me that is what fixed it And as mentioned once again same settings 1080p 59.94 and 8-bit BGRA that's gonna work and then here again resolution you're gonna hit 1920x1080 and FPS around 60. The console is transferring 59.94 so it's probably best to take that that you're not getting any um, desync of your video and audio. Um, yeah that's pretty much it and it's gonna work. That's it. So I hope it's gonna help for you guys. Um, that's what did the trick for me. And, um, yeah I wanna I hope it's gonna work and I don't want to keep you holding back.